And Cork trying to get themselves into an attacking position here with Neil Ronan from Bally Hay. Useful shot from Ronan and it draws the opening flag. Just over a minute gone, Neil Ronan puts Cork into the lead, starting his first championship match for 14 months, the last time it was here against Waterford, this time against Limerick, he gets the opening score and Cork are off to a flyer. Pressure on the Cork defence and straight away that's from Conor Fitzgerald and it's put over the bar and the equaliser, very good return for Conor Fitzgerald, the Adair man. The referee is coming out to have words now with TJ Ryan. Calling the Limerick captain to himself and then John Gardner being called. Yeah, it could be a yellow card per player here. In the big game for Eamon Morris, well you know, from Dublin, Jerry, like this would be a huge occasion for him, so he's going to lay down the law early and he's, he's dead right. So that's a couple of yellow cards handed out. Just three minutes into the game there. There you witness me. And it's Hickey coming across. First touch not good. Leaves it there for Ben O'Connor. The defence could open up here for Ben O'Connor. Ben coming through. He had support player. Corcoran is available. Over his right shoulder. Miss hit somewhat. Brian Corcoran chasing after it. Keeping it in play here. Timmy McCarthy an option. Brian making an angle for himself. That's a good shot and that's over. Brian Corcoran, the Aaron's own player, getting his first point of the match. In the puck out, raining down on top of O'Halpine. Curran going there as well, Murphy, but it comes to Niall Moran back in the team. Three court players going for the one ball. Barry Foley sweeping it across towards Tony Ryan, 45 metres out. Looking for a loose player, he's got TJ Ryan here. There's a point on, and TJ has put it inside the left-hand post and over the bar. He's got a yellow card, he's got a point as well, and it's five points to four. Niall Moran, first time in towards a shot to see, trying to break it against Murphy on his hands and knees he's got through, trying to get in there trying to swing his stick, good stop initially and that ball has gone up and over the bar, could have been a goal well stopped by Donald O'Cusack but the credit will go to Andrew O'Shaughnessy, and that's his second point, it was a really dangerous moment here, did well and a very good stop level game after 25 minutes Ben O'Connor trying to steal a march there. On Hickey, does well, gets a shot in and puts it over the bar. It's Ben's first score of the match and everybody in the inside forward line now has contributed to the scores. John Gardner. The style that you're familiar with. The clever hand pass to space, Tom Kenny taking it, breezing away from the challenges and putting it over the bar. Two players involved, Kenny with the final execution. And the point has been made, of course, that Cork's half-forward line don't score an awful lot, but their midfielders more than make up for it. Touchdown by Mike O'Brien. Pressure on Brian Murphy, spooned it out there as far as John Gardner. This time on his left-hand side. Work for Joe Dean to do to keep it in play. A collision of Limerick players, Joe without his hurley, Hand pass down as far as Niall McCarthy on his right side. It's a good side and it's over. First for Niall McCarthy. So now five of the six forwards have scored. Ronan Curran up with the left hand. Cleverly down. Great skill. Lovely hurling. Holly Moran coming across here, he's injured himself, play continues. It's uh, Neil Ronan having another one from distance, showing he's not just a fellow you can bring on when the team is in a crisis. He can start matches and he's now put over his third point. Niall Moran, let's fly. David O'Sullivan had a good first half. We saw very little of Brian Begley. Comes out to John Gardner. Out here once again towards Ronan Curran. Limbrick for whom Donald O'Grady has come into the half forward line. Pressure on here with Ben O'Connor. Ben shortening the grip on the stick and putting it over the bar and Cork at the first point of the second half. And it's Ben O'Connor who's got two points from two shots on the target. Just like old times for Ben. And it's 12 points to six.
batted out by O'Sullivan once again, comes straight to Niall Moran, going way out to make an angle for himself. Well, he made the angle, Wait. but can't. Yes, he can, he can finish it. It's over the bar and it's a second for Niall Moran. Shonago Halpin, momentarily unmarked, he gives him a chance to get it in towards Dean, bounces off rail, comes straight there towards Niall McCarthy, he's got a point so far, ball runs loose to Joe Dean once again, stepping out of trouble, back towards Jerry O'Connor, has yet to score, and that one has gone over the bar! Cork's midfielders between them have got three points out of that tally of 13 so far, and it's back to a six-point game. Mike O'Brien trying to excite the crowd from Limerick, trying to get something here, and he's put it over the bar. First for Mike O'Brien. Good score. Yeah, he's a great wholehearted player, uh, Jerry. You know, took the ball, not the most uh, maybe stylish, but he took it straight down the middle when they needed a score, and uh, a great score now for Limerick. And he's trying to urge on the crowd here as well now off the, off the ball. Beautiful pick up there. Breaks free once again from the shackles. Back to John Gardner. It comes loose. Conor Fitzgerald, some 45 metres out, and he's put it over the bar. Is the game turning late on? It's 15 points to 11. Cork have dominated, but Limerick have been plucky. Down once again towards Andrew Shocknessy, away from Deirdre O'Sullivan, comes to Mulcahy. Limerick with as many chances created in the minutes of the second half as they did in the entire first half as that ball ricochets high, lands over the bar! Pat Tobin again! That's his second! Three points the margin. Champions now being put to the pin of their colour against Limerick who have got renewed heart and Seamus Hickey takes it out here! Trying to go by Gardner, Hickey again, meandering this way and that, looking for a support player. That player is Niall Moran, he's scored two so far, he's got a third! Is the shock of the year on? It's 15-13, the 10-1 to outsiders are right back in the hunt. The champions having a right scare at this point in the game. Back here once again, Donal O'Grady excelling in the second half since his introduction. Niall Moran turning around, going this way and that. Sholago Halpin's in pursuit. It's still Niall Moran. Slightly off balance on the 45 metre line. That's unbelievable! That's over the bar and Moran has cracked over his fourth. And it's 15-14. Shonogo Halpin, very dramatic finale here. Ben O'Connor, whose team were ahead 11 6 and half time, and he's put it over the bar, and that's Ben's fifth point. Is that now finally enough to see off the challenge of Limerick? Mike O'Brien, great ball in here to Tobin. Couldn't get the stick to it, but it's a shock to see. Will he become the hero? Comes out again here. Mark Key now. And that's over the bar. 18-17. Mark Keane. Another score for Limerick. It bounces around awkwardly in there. Comes back to Niall McCarthy. His team ahead by a point. They're looking for something extra. He's got it! Niall McCarthy is hit over his second, a crucial score, 30 seconds to go, and it's 19-17. All the way down towards the half-forward line of Limerick, and they have it again with Mike O'Brien. Now they need a goal. O'Brien hitting it high, and that's over the bar. It's his second, not quite enough yet, but there's still a few seconds to play. 19-18. But where's the victory to go? The final whistle, and the champions are still the champions. They're in the semi-final. They'd be put to the pin of their collar to win a 12th consecutive match in the championship. 
final score. Cork 19 points, Limerick 18. Cork are in the semi.